is show you guys how to uh, solve this word problem. So up here it reads uh, five times a number of a n five times five times sorry the sum of a number and three is the same as three multiplied by one less than twice a number. Now immediately to most people that becomes extremely confusing. All right. Um, so I don't want you to get caught up right now into all the details. I want to work by a step-by-step -step method that we can do to solve this problem. Then it says, what is the number? So first thing we want to do is we want to identify what is the question. And obviously, usually it ends with the question mark, and that's what we're going to want to figure out. So it says, what is the number? So I'm going to underline that, meaning that's what I want to find out. When I get my answer, I want to go back to it and say, is that the number that I was looking for, or is that a number that I need? The next thing we need to do is since um, we're going to work on a word problem, we're going to use an equation. And with an equation, we're going to use a variable to solve for, for that number. Um, so what we need to do is we need to say, well, we need to assign a variable. We need to create a variable, which in this case, let's just use x. You can use any, um, anything really you want. But let's just use x, and we want to know what are we going to assign this variable? What do we want this variable to value, to equal? Well, since we don't know what a number is, what the number is, and a variable is supposed to represent our unknown, let's say x, what's right here, x equals the value of our number. And this is important because now what we did is we don't know what the number is, but we're going to say it's going to be x. And what this will help us do now is we can create an equation and then solve for x. So it says, five times. So I know I'm going to be multiplying five multiplied by something. Then it says the sum of a number and three. So that means I need to add x plus three. So now here comes the distinction that a lot of students make mistakes. If you left it like this, that would mean five times x plus three. Well, because I'd have to, and when I was to solve this by order of operations, I would have to multiply first before I added it. So therefore, it's not saying I want five times my number. It's saying I want five times my number plus three. So they want us to do addition before we do multiplication. Well, you can't do that with order of operations unless you put parentheses around your addition problem. Now, I have to compute what's inside the parentheses first, then I'll multiply by five. Well, they say that is the same as, which is equals, as three multiplied, so I'm gonna multiply by three, then it says one less than twice a number. Now, here's kind of my example. A lot of students say, oh, well, one less, that makes sense, times, you know, one less. Be very careful. If y'all was gonna think about, let's say I had $20, and if I said you had one less dollar, you had one less dollar than I do, well, you would have $19. Because you're just gonna take one and subtract it from what I have. So one less means actually minus one. And what am I subtracting one from? One less than twice a number. Twice is gonna tell you multiply by two. So I'm gonna have two x minus one. Again, our same principle is going to apply. It says three is multiplied by one less than twice a number. It's not multiplied by twice our number. So to prevent order of operations from making us multiply by two x first, we need to put them in parentheses so I can find what is twice a number or one less than twice the number first, and then I can multiply by three. So here, now I have my equation. So I went from a root problem, I got a variable and defined it, and then I created an equation. Now what I'm gonna do is just gonna have to use distributive property and solve. So I'll do five times x, five times three, equals three times two x, three times negative one, Now I have my variable on the same on different sides. And remember, we're solving for one x. We need to find what x is. So we need to get the x on the same side. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to wanna to get rid of the variable that's the smallest. And if you see, five x is smaller than six x. So that means I'm gonna to wanna to get rid of this five x. Meaning I need to see if I can get this to be a value of zero. So if I have a positive five x, if I subtract five x, this becomes zero. But remember, you have to subtract, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. And make sure you only subtract x's from x's. This cancels out to become 0. This becomes 15 equals x minus 3. Then I just undo my subtraction of 3 from my variable and add 3. 
therefore I get 18 is equal to x. So therefore, don't just write x as units, therefore you can say um, the num the value of my of my or the number is 18. And that's how you solve the work problem.